Hello. Hi. We're doing another episode of Grandma's Porch. This is going to be a little bit different. We're going to show you how I make shepherd's pie. Okay. Shepherd's pie is already the, the ground beef. It's already cooked. I've been cooking it already. And so I have it all ground up and cooked. And what I did was added some. Let's show you the corn. There we go. I added corn. And uh, you can add whatever uh, mixed vegetables, uh, peas, sweet peas. My sister, she actually used sweet peas in hers. Um, but I like the corn. And also, what's good about the corn, you can use, you can use the uh, sweet corn or cream style corn. Now, last time I used the cream style corn, it's just as good. It's really usually mostly made with the sweet corn but i like this cream style corn as well which is good and what i like to also use is uh cheese i like to put a lot of cheese on there so uh let me show you my cheese there we go and we do cheese on there also we use a seasoning we use a little bit of accent and um this is complete season it's a jamaican season that i've learned to use with um, curry chicken. Oh my God, it brings out the taste. And I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Also, uh, we use the uh, salt seasoner and black pepper. Okay, we're gonna take a seat here. We have to sit down uh, because on the stool here, we sit and cook because a lot of time I find myself fatigued and I can't stand up um, over the stove as much. But um, also, there is something else I use that my, my mother taught me. Um, just a little secret ingredient. Um, a lot of people use it and some of them they don't. Um, it's brown gravy mix. And we put a little bit of ground brown gravy mix. We already put that in there so we won't do it again because we don't want to overdo it. And it really brings out the seasoning, the gravy that's in there, you know. And um, you'll see the steps that I'm going to take here. Okay, we are going to pause this and we're going to come back with it. You'll see the cheese on top. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Okay. Alrighty, so now you see we have the cheese. We would like the cheese kind of melt up in there, you know. The truth is, the cheese actually is used with the mashed potatoes, okay. I like to put a little bit in the meat as well, so you can get that kind of cheesy taste inside when you eat it, just not with the mashed potatoes. A lot of people don't use cheese, but I like to put a little cheese on top of mine. I use the mixed cheese. It's like an Italian cheese, it's a blend of the cheddar blend or mozzarella cheese, medium cheddar, you know, cheese. Oh, also, I like to cheat a little bit. What I do is I use the potatoes in a box. That's the Publix brand. And because I don't want to peel potatoes, I'm lazy, you know. I'm sitting down already. You think I want to, you know. And, you know, a lot, a lot of people, they like to cook. Well, I don't like to cook, okay. I cook because, first of all, I have to eat. And second of all, I have two big dudes that live in the house here, my son and my nephew. Well, my son is here for the summer. Usually he's here uh, for the summer and the Christmas holidays. And this is his favorite dish, shepherd's pie. He went to play basketball, but oh, he's going to be very happy to know that mommy is making shepherd's pie. Okay, this is ready to already go. What we're going to have to do now is just make our mashed potato. But what we're going to do is put that pan here. There we go, and we're gonna put. Uh, we're gonna just take the pan and uh, with the food, uh, whatever you want to call the ground beef. I'm not good at this. I am not Paula Dean. <laughs> we all know that. And uh, we're gonna put it in the saucer pan. And okay, well, it's a casserole dish, whatever. Anyway, um, so we just wanted to show you that we can cook a little bit, and um, that's one of our dish that we like to make. Um, and um, it's an easy dish, actually. It's a quick fix. So you don't really want to cook, you know what I mean? So we're going to go ahead and um, do this, and we'll let you see the finished product. But um, that's it for now. So you know you know what time it is. Tell me how you get to Sesame Street. We won't sing it, but you know how we, how we do, how we do. Okay? All right. Have a good one.